How is everyone right? Uh, we are now into week 11 of these videos which can only mean one thing two weeks to go the closer it's getting to the ride the more nervous I'm getting I've done a fair amount of training but I've still got that niggling feeling it's not going to be enough it's a stupid f***ing challenge to take on I think I've really got to up this training into another gear again this week but there's a couple of things going to slow me down. As you saw last week, I took a little bit of a tumble. It was a pretty crap fall, but it still aggravated my dodgy knee. So I'm taking ibuprofen like there's no f***ing tomorrow. The other thing that's slowing me down is for the next eight days, I'm night shifts. But I'm going to try and go out either before or after work depending how tired I am after the night shift but today I'll probably go up before work and I'll try and get a couple of hours kip in before then but for the rest of the week I'll probably go out after work because my sleep pattern would have changed a bit so I'll come home from work and go out about 8 o'clock in the morning do a couple of hours don't know how I'm going to get any footage of the rides this week with my uh, broken bike mount and I broke this camera as well but I'm still really positive for finishing the ride. Especially the first half. We're breaking it down into sort of 15, 20 mile bits. It doesn't seem as daunting. And we've got a van and a car following us as well. So we haven't got to carry loads of water and stuff. They're going to meet us every 15 miles as well. So that's lightened the load a lot. And can I just say a big thanks to Darren Ludlow for stepping in last minute as well to help us out on the van with the maintenance. He was actually going to be one of the riders with us when it was first discussed two years ago. But his knees are worse than mine. Right, two weeks until we do the challenge. It's frightening how, uh, how much training I'm behind on. Uh, so I set myself a goal for this week of at least 100 miles. So hopefully I can get that in uh, myself and Andrew are going to go for a ride now in about 45 minutes time. We're looking to get anywhere between 30 and 35, so that would be a good start. he have been on the bike for over a week. I didn't take the bike away with me, which I had planned to. There was just no room to do it. So hopefully I can get this 100 miles in. It's basically, i got to live on this bike for the next two weeks. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know how everyone, the other three are feeling, but I'm petrified now. I am really s myself. Getting there might not be a problem. Actually, getting there won't be a problem. Getting back probably will be a problem for myself anyway. So, I'm going to cram these medals in this week. Try and step it up then next week to maybe 150. But maybe a couple of hours on the bike this week now I might get my get me motivated again. As usual viewers will know my bike has been mostly off the road than on it. Um to be that's got me a little bit down. Uh, lack of motivation. So a couple of miles tonight now should get me up and going for it. I hope it because I really wanna do it. I really wanna finish this challenge. Really want to get through it. See you feel later on. So I've just been out on a shortish run, if you can call 24 miles shortish. Although, for what I should be doing at this stage in the training, it is quite short. Just did the usual circuit of the valley like I normally do a couple of times. I'm getting bored less of that route now. It was actually nice and cool out today. It stayed dry. But I did it far quicker than I usually do, even with my dodgy knee. 24 miles would usually take me two hours or so. Took me just over an hour and three quarters, so I pegged it quite a bit. 
Yeah, I myself at one point. I was coming down School Road Hill. And according to my map thing, I hit 36 mile an hour. And some stupid with a pram decided to just walk in front of me. I swear some people haven't got the brains they were born with. Okay, I don't know if you can see the background. Here I am, two weeks of the day that we ride in. Um, little warm up tonight down to Bridgend, back up Ogmovale, and now sitting on top of the book, looking forward to the downhill stretch back. Absolutely killed me. But we're up there. Big thanks to John Fuss, who's uh, wandering over by her. Pushed me all the way tonight. Uh, been a tough ride up our hill, John. Andrew John, it? believe me, is a legend. He's going to eat Tembi. Oh, I don't know about eating Tembi. Tembi's going to eat me. Uh, back to back rides. Last night, nowhere near as long as tonight. But uh, tell you what, no looking forward to two days in a saddle for that length of time. But uh, I'll give you a little update as we get back to my stake. As you can probably tell from the state of me, I have just got back from a ride. I've done 26.3 miles today. Um, so I'm on target at the moment. I'm halfway through my get, uh, my goal this week of 100 miles. I've done 50 exactly so far. I've done 23.7 on my Tuesday, sorry, and 26.3 today. So that's exactly halfway. Um, feel pretty good. Starting to get a little bit sore at the end of the ride. Uh, hopefully that'll ease off in time. Um, tell you what, one thing, it is scary as shit coming down Camarillo with no brakes. Should have checked them before I started going down there. Nearly killed myself. That's the last thing I want to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, so. Hopefully, we're not going to get this storm this week. But if we are, I don't doubt it very much I'll be going out on the weekend. Uh, myself and Andrew are hoping to go out tomorrow evening to do some of the course that we're, gonna, um, that we're doing. And, yeah, so quick shower now and straight to work for me. And hopefully... Get out tomorrow. Well, today was pretty much a bust on uh, going out on the bike after a night shift. It was my first night shift. It normally cripples me, and it did. I was f***ing knackered when I got home this morning. And I'm just driving back into work again now for tonight. But usually on the second night shift, I don't feel that bad. So uh, I'll definitely go out again in the morning. I don't know where I'm going to go. I'm fed up of doing the same route around the valley but it's just convenient because um, you're never more than five miles away from your house so it's pretty good plus it's safe it's uh, a route I know really f***ing well now and uh, there's just no traffic apart from like the one road and it's really nice and wide plus I don't want to be too far from home after a night shift just get a f***ing flake out somewhere I shall be reporting back to you in the morning. So I'm just leaving work after my night shift. I'm uh, gonna go and have a bite to eat because I'm starving. The food I took to work was vile. I don't even think the dog would have eaten it. And then I'm gonna go out on a bike ride. Can't use the excuse saying that it's really early or wherever. Because technically it's my afternoon. Because it has been known for me to have a couple of pints after a night shift. People always go, oh, can you drink f***ing lager that time in the morning? Well, it's not morning to me, is it? I've just finished work. It's the afternoon. I was back in for another night shift again tonight. Uh, I've got a joking day off tomorrow and then I'm back in nights again Sunday. But I did go out on the bike when I got home this morning. It was pretty much an uneventful ride. Apart from the fact that it was after a night shift. Started seeing double halfway home. Just because I was so tired, but I didn't get much sleep. I'm going to go out again tomorrow. I think I'll have a day off on Sunday. 
I haven't set myself a goal this week like Phil did with 100 miles. I literally just go up when I can now. As if I'm not in work, I'm on the bike or editing these f***ing blogs. Or doing NVQ work. Or making sure Louise is okay. Because for those of you who don't know, we're going to be parents. Yeah, you know, uh, hey. No, I, I'm happy actually, it's just... People don't expect it from me. It's like, oh, fuck, hell, Mark, you usually hate everyone. Yeah, and yeah, I usually do. I've only got time for family, close friends and dogs. And that's about it. Well, the plan for me today, after the night shift, was to go out on another bike ride this morning. But, uh... I'm gonna go to bed instead. I'm gonna have a couple of hours sleep, probably three, four hours. Then I'll go out. My planned route today is to do the same one the boys did yesterday, which is from my house all the way down into Patalbot. Back up through Pont Breda Venn and into Avon Argoid. And then I'll either come home up over Cummer or up over the mountain. I'll uh, decide when I get there. I fing it. Chain just come off. Spun around smash mini killies. I'm not even f***ing two miles in yet. I'll keep pushing it. But, uh... I don't know if I'm gonna make now. Two well. 1.46 miles in. And an injury already. What the f***? <laughs> under 10 miles in. Just stop for a short drink. The back of my leg is f***ing wrecking now. One thing I will tell you, that road in between the golf course and Comavon is f***ing savage. It's nothing but potholes. And you go down quite quickly to be honest. I hit 36. So uh, that's enough of my break. Let's get on with it. electric pilot. I'm going that way for a change. I didn't make it on Sunday because of the rain. So I'm going to try today. Nuclear wasteland up here now. Look at it. Not so long ago, it was all like that. Now 
look at it. Shocking. So I've uh, stopped for one last water break before I get home. And I've stopped in probably the best picnic table in South Wales. They're all the way down to Bridgend. And pretty much all the way over the Patabon and Mumbles. Outstanding. That is steep as I forgot how steep it was. I'm going to give it a go, f*** it. Wish me luck. Well that's it for this week, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching, please keep on donating. Either by following the links, or by coming to see us personally, or popping into Travellers. Give us a big thumbs up. Favourite the video, whatever you want to do, subscribe to my channel. And most importantly, please donate, please support us. Thank you very much. I'll see you next week. Closer this is getting. It's not again, Mark. I've done a fair amount of training, but I still don't think it's gonna, gonna be enough. <laughs> One bit of news for the, that's come out then. <laughs> not to the fact that it. Not to the fact. And people just ride like. <laughs> ride? Drive even. Just a so. Uh, just a so. So? As usual, listen, And according to my phone map thing, phone map thing, what the fuck's a phone map thing? Where was I? Oh yeah, I was, uh, f Yeah, so hopefully back on the bike tomorrow with Andrew. I've said all this. Why am I saying it all again? If you don't, if you don't hear from me from now, please like. Okay, today was so loud and I. So I don't think going out on a bike ride is not a. Oh. So I don't think a bike ride is too stupid to sound like we're too stupid to sound. Out of the f***ing hell man. I can't f***ing speak this morning. Way too f***ing tired. Yeah. Get out the f***ing way you prick. But uh, I could have looked less f***ing ecstatic then. <laughs> uh. See how I see you all when I wake up then. Shut up, you c**t.